When it was realized that the Job Corps Center would finally come to New Hampshire, civic leaders, residents, industry associations, and businesses had to fight so New Hampshire general contractors could compete on an even playing field. A unified effort had to supersede an executive order on project labor agreements. The first two solicitations were canceled due to formal protests. The third was the charm and made it possible for a New Hampshire general contractor to win one of the largest construction bids in New Hampshire at that time. Ultimately, many New Hampshire construction workers were hired at a time when work was hard to find. Ekman was scrutinized by federal agencies and disgruntled union workers, but delivered on a promise that saved American taxpayers over $6 million. The mix of construction types and building materials required a strong understanding of diverse building construction types and expertise. The New Hampshire Job Corps Center was designed to meet LEED Silver standards, including many sustainable design elements and unique architectural features. The 25-acre site was one of the most complicated Ekman construction has ever encountered in over 42 years. Over 80,000 cubic yards of ledge had to be blasted, and soils perched nearly 40 feet above the site had to be stabilized. This unforeseen condition required a redesigned grading plan, which would avoid months of delay. Ekman found a way to build the project that saved the client time and money. With seven buildings comprising over 150,000 square feet of area, Ekman's team needed to coordinate sequencing to ensure that blasting, granite removal and processing, and vertical construction could progress without delay. In the U.S. Department of Labor final performance evaluation, the contracting officer stated, quote, The quality of construction was exceptional from start to finish. I have never before worked with a general contractor who has earned an exceptional rating across the board. Ekman Construction Company has shown that it can be done.